I think that there's two things that we need to focus on with, with what we measure. Number one is predicting outcomes. And number two is measuring outcomes. Here's why I think that's really important. It puts us in a mindset of the outcome. What is the thing that we hope to see as a result rather than just going after a number? So often with metrics, we get in this pursuit of a score, not thinking about what's, what are we actually trying to drive or what are we trying to predict? So that's my piece of advice. Look at all of your metrics and, and put them into two categories. What helps you predict your desired outcomes and what helps you measure whether or not you're achieving them? With call center metrics, the key thing to remember is that what you measure is what you get. It's human nature to work to the metrics. And therefore, you need to be clear on the customer outcomes that you're looking for. If your call center metrics, contact center metrics are all about average handling time, volume of calls, that's all you're going to get. So think about the customer experience you want and what the outcome is for that customer and ensure that you've got metrics that cover that element as well. And then you'll get a richer experience for your customer. Reporting is how you build anything in a contact centre environment. And what the contact centre environment needs is access to those metrics, but also not just access, but to be looking at the right metrics at the right time they need to see it. And the right time is normally real time, of course, because you want to see it right there and then. But it's also historical as well, so you can work out those trends. And sometimes it's very hard and very convoluted to understand in the world of data and big data, what you should be looking at and how you should be looking at it. So the key message in that call center met metrics is not to get lost in the data because there is a lot of data, but it's also to look at the right data that's, that's right for you. We've got to get into some realism here around how the world has shifted and how our customers and our wonderful employees have shifted as well. And the big challenge we've all got to get our heads around and to make really strong metric around is community. And that's how we're affecting our customer community and our employee community and our business or shareholder community as well. So we need to really think about our metrics so that we drive, well, you guys know better than I do, the right behaviors. Um, but community is where it's at now. Forget command and control. The call center metrics, and excuse me for being so flippant, but it's about measuring, measuring the right things. Um, so many contact centers produce many reports. Uh, and we often see that, um, that little happens with some of those reports. So if, if a metric doesn't drive action, actionable insight, return on effort, then I'd question why you're measuring it. Uh, an example could be AHT, for example. Um, so it's a management tool, average handle time. It's not necessarily a measure of effectiveness, however. So if you increase your AHT by 30 seconds, typically in a contact center, that would be frowned upon. However, that could leverage uh, a better customer conversation. And we have a case study where doing just that leveraged a 60 million pound return. So AHT being increased was the right thing to do.